Hi guys, and welcome to Know Your Gear. Today I'm going to talk about scale length real fast. So, a Gibson guitar is 24 and 3 quarters inches if you measure from the nut to the bridge. And I did that backwards, from the, the nut to the bridge. A uh, Fender Strat will be 25 and a half inches. A Paul Reed Smith will be 25. A Gibson will be 25 and a half. There's some variations in those guitars as well. But you get the idea. So what does that mean to you? Well, here's what it means to you, and most importantly. It means that the longer the scale, in other words, the longer the distance between the nut and the bridge, the tighter the string has to be to, to get to standard pitch. So in a guitar like uh, a Fender and a Strat, uh, sorry, a Fender and a Gibson, uh, you, if you put an equal gauge string, nine gauge strings on the Strat and on the Gibson, you will tighten the string tighter uh, on the Strat, which gives it a different feel. So, I know a lot of you guys don't have guitars, a lot of guitars, and, and if you do, some of you guys tend to buy the same guitar. So you have 10 Strats or 10 Ibanezes or 10 Les Pauls or 2 Les Pauls or whatever. Um, and uh, you may never experience this. So, um, the whole point of Know Your Gear, these videos I started doing about a year ago on Facebook, was exactly that. I'm just trying to show you some stuff to understand your, your instrument better. Not so much uh, review it and give you, uh, you know, an idea of what I think of it, but what I do with it or what you can do with it. So, let me show you a trick I like. First, all you have to do is take any guitar. The idea is to take the longer scale of the guitar. So you have to take a Strat or an Ibanez or a Parker or a PRS, something longer scale, uh, Dean, you know, ESP. 25 and a half inch scale. And what you do is you down tune the guitar half step, okay? That's all you do. Just tune all your strings half step. Then you take your capo, like so, and you capo your first fret. What that will do is it'll make the first metal fret the nut, okay? Now, you have to ignore your, your markers, which is why I'm using the Parker because it doesn't have any. And what you'll notice is, now, see, and I just make sure you understand. So now, even though I'm playing G chord, that's G, even though I'm on the fourth fret, because I shifted everything up, okay? So, let's go ahead and show you uh, the difference, okay? So I'm going to play something with this guitar now in standard tuning capo at the first fret, and then I'm going to play it again without the capo in standard tuning, uh, and, and I want you to see if you hear a difference, and I'll do a comparison real fast, okay? So... <laughs> Okay, now the 25 inch plus scale. So, uh, now that's the differences. So now no capo and the other one's capo. So it took the same guitar and I basically changed the scale length. Not the tuning. Both, uh, both patterns that I played were in E standard, okay? There is no down tuning. So uh, it's hard to hear, it's easier to feel, okay? So what does this do for you? Well, what it does is it maybe helps you understand what scale length is best for you. Uh, a lot of people tell me all the time, oh, I, I hate Fenders, I play Gibsons only. They don't realize sometimes that's the fretboard radius and the scale length that they're falling in love with. Sometimes it's a sound, but we're talking about feel action, right? Sometimes people play Ibanez's and, uh, and, uh, and Dean's and guitars like that, longer scale, 24 fret guitars, and then play uh, another shorter scale, scale guitar and tell me that it just doesn't feel right. And uh, they're, they're right, but sometimes it's better to understand exactly why it doesn't feel right. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Just a suggestive, suggestive tip uh, on Know Your Gear. Uh, thanks for your time, and Know Your Gear. <laughs>